Hi everyone, it's Marian. So today we're going to do some plant chores and pre-spring organizing. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I was going to film another video, but I really want to do some organizing this weekend. So that's what we're going to do. And if you've been watching me for quite a while, you know that last year my theme was decluttering, but this year I'm trying to focus more on organization than just decluttering because I feel like with focusing solely on decluttering, I'm just creating more waste and also tend to regret letting go of the stuff that I have let go and finding use for them now when I didn't find use for them back then. So for the seasonal items or stuff that I don't currently use, I want to make sure that I have proper storage for them and I can easily access them when I actually do need them. And of course, a big part of my stuff is my plants. So there's going to be also some plant organization in this video so don't worry for my plant peeps you're gonna get a lot of plant content in this video as well and because I'm going to be moving around I don't have a microphone on me I do have one attached to my camera but there might be some audio issues when I'm a bit far away from my camera so apologizing for that in advance but yeah let's go get organizing and usually when I do this videos I always forget to film a before so I'm going to film a before for you right now and we can compare it to what I'll end up with in the end. I don't think it's going to be much different because my room is not dirty. I even like did all my laundry last night, but it's just not as organized as I want to. But yeah, let's go do the before shot. Okay, so here is the before. Like I said, it is not messy. It's just a little bit disorganized. I need to wash my sheets and then put some new pillowcases, arrange the curtains over here. And this one is probably the biggest aside from my closet. And as you can see, I have a new desk. This is a desk that was gifted to me by Flexi Spot. And they're probably gonna be not so happy with me showing it for the first time in my channel, very messy. But I was only contracted to do an Instagram post, so that's gonna be okay. But you'll see the after when it's organized and pretty. But I've always wanted a standing desk. If you've been following me for a while, or if you've seen my work desk, makeover video so i was really happy to receive this from flexi spot but yeah so this needs organizing as you can see i have my makeup stuff and everything on here that is not supposed to be here my dog sleeping over there and i have that container full of photo albums and some books that i need to take out and actually put plants in um more on that later and of course, the IKEA greenhouse cabinet needs cleaning. I haven't cleaned that in a while. Fixing the cables, have some little bit of cable management. This one is okay. I did organize the drawers a few days ago. The storage containers that I have below, I just need to find a new place for them because I don't want to be out. And over here, this one I'm actually currently selling at Facebook Marketplace. It hasn't sold yet, but I'm already thinking of taking it down clean the test tubes and just pack it up and just wait for it to get sold because I want to move the greenhouse cabinet from this corner to here and move this table to that side. I don't know if that's going to happen all in this video, but that is my plan and I don't know what to do with this corner yet. That is my thigh constellation Mystera and when I am not filming, the my thigh constellation Mystera is facing the window and that's how I get the leaves to face all in one direction. So I just turn it around when I am filming. And the humidifier with a dirty cotton bud. Sorry about that. But um, I need to refill that. I've recently washed it. But it might need washing again because it might have been a while. My dog's toys. And <laughs> um, wait. Okay. I'll show it to you. I'll show it all to you. Okay. So. It is not bad. So it's not bad. It just needs some organizing. I'm covering because one of the storage boxes contain my under things. And up here, it also needs organization. And I might use that and put it on my bed already. And put some of the storage containers that I have out up here. And also fix this situation up here. Like I said, I am not decluttering. But... There may be some clothes that I can let go, but I don't know. I'm just going to go through it and see what am I keeping, what am I storing, or what I can donate because I am thinking of stopping by Goodwill either tomorrow or Monday because the weather is going to be great. 
and I'm going to run some errands. So maybe that's going to be also for another vlog. So that is the before the situation of this room. And what I'm going to do first is water my plants. That way I can get them out of the room, into the bathroom, water them there. So by the time that I'm finished organizing and cleaning this room, they already have been watered and drained and I can put them back in. And before I do that though, I want to share with you a product that I discovered on TikTok. And this is not a affiliated, sponsored, or gifted product. I bought this with my own money from Amazon and I actually just got it yesterday. And I'm going to really test out this product and do a full video on this. But I can't wait until then to share this with you because I think this is going to be a game changer for a lot of plant parents. So my plant TikTok friend got asked how she keeps her calatheas looking so beautiful and lush, like literally no brown spots or yellowing at all. And you know how tricky calatheas can be taking care of them as houseplants. And she got asked if she used distilled water on her calatheas. She said no, she just used tap water. But she adds this. This is AquaSafe. This is a water conditioner that makes tap water safe for your fish, reptiles, and amphibians. And what it does is it removes chlorine from the water. And I think it also removes fluoride and neutralizes the hard minerals in your tap water. So she says if it works great for the fish, amphibians, and reptiles, why not for our houseplants? So I think it was a genius idea of her and I could see the proof in her houseplants. They look amazing, especially her calatheas. So I'm really excited to try this out on my houseplants and I'm trying it out for the first time today, actually. Is this necessary for your houseplants? Probably not, but it's kind of like, you know, an added nice thing to do for your houseplants. But this one only costs about $5 something. If you can get this in a pet store, you can get it in a smaller bottle for like about $2. And this works like super tribe. You don't need a lot of it. So this is a teaspoon for five gallons of water. So per gallon of water, you really only need like less than a quarter of teaspoon, a fifth teaspoon per gallon of water. So this bottle will go a long way for like $5 something. I think it's worth the money. So why not give it a shot? But yeah, so I already talked so much. Let's go ahead and actually water my house plants. Okay, so I have all the plants that need watering, not as much as I thought. But since I haven't really brought them out here in a while, I'm going to be washing their foliage first before I actually water them. So first one that I'm actually giving water to is the one in my pot box. I haven't watered this in a while, so I'm just going to put some water at the bottom and let it sit over there. And I'm not going to close it because I don't want to forget and not drain it out and have all the plants rot. So I'm going to pour some water at the bottom and I already put the aqua safe on this one. You can always have your tap water sit out and it would remove chlorine that way. But sometimes the water that you have is not enough to water all the plants that you have. So you can't be like, oh, I'm gonna wait another few hours or even overnight to water the rest of my plants. Sometimes you're just gonna need more water. So the great thing about AquaSafe is after you add it to your water, it only needs like less than a minute, literally a few seconds for it to work and to dechlorinate your water. So if you have a lot of plants water like I do, then you can just keep refilling your watering can or your gallon like this one and just keep refilling it and putting a little bit of the AquaSafe on it. Like I said, I put like less than a quarter teaspoon and it is good to go. So yeah, very easy and very convenient. So some of these are in self-watering planters. So I'm just gonna drain out whatever water got in there. And I'm just gonna pour some back in. And the self-watering planters, I did a video on them a while back. I did get them as a gift from Emerging Green. And it worked out for four out of five plants. And the fifth plant was from Mystery Albo which died it in, but everyone else is thriving in it. So, so you decide if it's great for your plants or not, but I think it's great for my plants, even though it killed my Monstera album. The only thing is, I don't know if you've noticed, a lot of the roots have started to go down the water reservoir. So you see this one is already empty, but I still have a few plants to water and I can do that and dechlorinate it right away using AquaSafe. 
there's actually a measuring cup on the top which makes it convenient and I'm just doing like a quarter way through put it in there and I'm doing the same for my Thai Constellation Monstera which now again it's a very hot commodity because of the latest cost of farms news if you haven't heard it yet I'll link the short somewhere up here and also down in the description but basically they are not selling Thaikons anymore at least not anytime soon so <laughs> the more that I need to make sure that this plant survives because I don't know if I'll able to replace it anytime soon I'm going to do some laundry now, starting with my dog's bed, which haven't been washed in a while, not gonna lie, but we are doing it now. So next, I am taking on my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. You've seen me clean this out a few times already on my channel, so I'm just gonna do a time lapse. Here's an update on my plumeria. I don't think it has grown roots yet, but it's shooting out growth on top. And here's my syndonium elbow. As you can see, the roots have started to grow down into the water reservoir. So I might have to do something about that sometime soon. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this down. I am probably not going to be able to patch the hole today, but I am bringing it down, cleaning it up, and packing it up for sale, and hopefully I would sell it. So if you're in the DMV area, interested in a prop station, I'll have the link to the Facebook market listing down in the description. But the IKEA greenhouse cabinet is clean, and I think I'm going to move it over here after I remove this. I remember it took me like quite a while to put this up and now it's going down so easily. Hope I'm not jinxing myself by saying that. Oh. Okay, so I moved this here for now. Here is the cabinet and I did take out the mikins and the string of hearts to water them. And I just want this section to be kind of empty. I know I still have to like clean up the dust and everything just to play around with it and see if I could arrange this table and this table to be side by side but we will see. Okay so I pretty much stuck to what worked but it all where everything was. But I did put the table underneath so I can have some like drawer situation and actually put my Cricut Maker out. And this is the greenhouse cabinet. I move it back here and I'm just going to put back the plants now in 3, 2, 1. Okay, here it is. And here is the table. A bit arranged, kind of. But you'll see a nicer setup of it in my Instagram. And on this side, I brought back the Thai Constellation Monstera and the plants on that side. And over here, I did end up watering this four and put them back up. And now without the prop station. And this side is empty. As you can see, like the organization part of this video, we haven't even gotten around to yet. Yeah, and the bed is still not made. The laundry is still not done so mm, but this is what we have so far and i still have a couple of plants that i need to put back and then i'm gonna show you the final look so 
so it's the next day but i did finally finish organizing my plants at least and cleaning up the rest of my room and i didn't get to do everything that i want to do like this closet is going to be another video as well as the stuff that i really want to organize but i was able to organize this section which for me is the most important thing because this is where i do all my work but let me show you around so let's start right over here the bed wash the sheets put them back didn't really get to change it with the other sheets that i have in the closet and really design and style it i'll do that in another video or show you in another video cleaned the mirror over there it actually had a lot of dust and i kept the hooks up i used to hang plants in there not sure if i'm gonna still hang plants over there but i'm just gonna keeping it for now and over here i really cleared out this area as you can see I thought I would be able to get rid of this plant stand because I don't really like this plant stand. It's very unstable. You take one out and the rest would fall down. So I'm really trying to be careful with this plant stand. But I don't have space or anything to put these plants on. So I have to keep them. And I have the Exotica over here. The Tribuye Moonlight. The Ficus Tiniki. As you can see, this one's on the windowsill. I typically don't like putting plants on the windowsill regardless of season. But again, I don't have space to put it. So I'm just putting it there for now. My Phi Constellation Monstera. And I don't know if you would notice, it is missing a leaf because when I was moving furniture around, it broke, unfortunately. And my Syngonium Chia Pants. And I have the YouTube Crazy Straw over here that used to be in the prop station, which is now completely gone. I took it out and I didn't patch up the holes yet. I mean, the plants are kind of covering it. So, and the holes are not as bad as I thought it would be. So I'm just going to do it on a later time. But here are the trailing plants. And here is my thigh constellation monstera that I got from Costa Farms. Which now I'm babying because apparently they're not coming out with it anymore. I might mention it earlier in this video. But yeah, check out my stories about the whole tea regarding that. And my ikea greenhouse cabinet that i said i was gonna get rid of or try to move over here it just didn't work out so i still placed it where it was and i have the prop boxes in there and i explained in the previous video why i have prop boxes inside of my ikea greenhouse cabinet if i check it out i'll link the video down in the description and also up in the cards and here and i got my compacta and cebu blue up there and this golden trio that's always up there i'm always very nervous putting this up because i have my computer directly below it i don't know i mean the hangers are screwed on studs so there shouldn't be any problem but i'm always scared every time they're freshly watered because they're a lot heavier when they're freshly watered and we'll do the desk last but i moved the hoya crimson queen on this corner on top of this ruby ficus elastica it has a string tied to that so that it would be more straight because right now this tree without that is leaning like this and i kind of like want to chain it to stand upright so hopefully that would work and my dog has to move into that corner if you hear any snoring that is him but yeah so let's go over to my work desk as mentioned earlier in this video, I received this standing desk from FlexiSpot as a gift in exchange for a review on Amazon and an Instagram post. They did not ask me to do a YouTube video, but I just want to share it with you anyway since it's part of my room. And this chair, I did get it from Costco for I think $70, which is a good deal for an ergonomic office chair. But let's look underneath it first because I know this is probably driving some of you crazy and no the standing desk is not hitting whatever is underneath that is as low as it gets no it actually can get a bit lower but i don't really put the desk any lower than that so that's okay and this one i put underneath here because as you can see the standing desk doesn't have any shelving and i need like some shelves for organization because i don't want everything up here the one thing that i do miss for my old desk is it has drawers and shelving this one doesn't so i have to like make something for now so i put this one over here like a little fit underneath and also the reason that i put this one underneath aside from the drawers it has is i could put my cricut maker up there so that i could actually get to use it so i've been using it like a lot late last year when i first got in it but i haven't had a chance 
to use it this year and part of that reason is because it's always hidden in storage so by having it out here i hope and my plan is to use it a lot more often because i have a lot of crafts and diys that i really need to do and haven't gotten around yet and it's also a good like place to put stuff that i don't want on top of my desk and here in the drawers i just have my skincare and makeup so the same for the other two and below here over here in this planter is actually my cable management. It took me a while to figure out how am I going to get all the cables out of the way. Figured it out, hid them all here in the planter and underneath the desk. So I also don't see it from the top. It used to be in this corner if you've seen earlier. And this one, there's really nothing much I can do about it because this is connected to the grow lights and the heat mat. And it's the best that I can do for it. But everything else is like in this planter. And I have a pot over there that has also has a grow light. I'm probably going to put that in storage somewhere. And this container, I used to have two of them. I tried to consolidate everything or get rid of the stuff that I don't really need. And this one are just electronics that I often use when I'm filming. But this one also, once I organize my closet, would probably go in the closet as well. Okay, so let's now go up here. Some of the stuff here are just for staging purposes, but like this book, it's not really always up here but the ultimate guide to pothos plants if you're interested in it i wrote this book it's available on amazon the link is down below as well as my planting pool planner but this one i actually use a lot and i am now in march and as you can see and i really love this planting pool planner not just because i made it but it actually helps me a lot being on top of everything that i need to do and this is a mirror that i use as you can see aside from the mirror i have up there I don't really have a mirror in here and i used to have a really large mirror up here for those who have been watching me for a long time would probably remember that but now i only have this but a good thing about this one it is lighted so sometimes i kind of use this as my ring light when i'm filming like tiktoks or even youtube videos to be honest that are a little bit more casual and of course my computer my mug that i got from alfred t that i use as a pen and makeup holder and this organization stuff like this one and that one i got from the target dollar spot so again like stuff that i really want to access batteries sd cards lens wipes this one is my disneyland starbucks tumbler and this one over here my gopro skincare that i often use some clips and these are just like my cricut tools and whoop, and here a candle a Haworthia uh, plant that also didn't have a spot for but I'm just putting it there for now and I don't know if you can see back there is my Hoya Carii. So the only thing with having this desk underneath here is I can't push the chair all the way in but as mentioned this is a standing desk so as much as possible I tried to use it as a standing desk so the chair situation is not really that terrible and even when I'm sitting down it's still comfortable like my knees and stuff don't really hit the table it's all good so that's the final look of my current space as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video it probably don't look as much different but it does to me and this ended up being a pre-spring plant styling plant organization video not so much on the actual organization of the room but that is coming especially for that closet and i at least got to organize my work area now that i have this new flexi spot standing desk like i said you could if you're interested in it i have the link down in the description and the aqua safe if you have tried it for your plants please let me know what your experience with it and i'm really really excited to see how it does for my plants i'll be testing out that product for at least a month so maybe by the end of march or early april i will show you the actual results and how the aquasafe actually did for my house plants and as mentioned earlier aquasafe wasn't sponsored gifted or affiliated anything like that i found out about it through my plant tiktok friend and if you're on tiktok i will link her profile down in the description so you can follow her as well for amazing plant care tips so thank you again so much for watching if you like it please give me a thumbs up if you're new here please do subscribe i come up with videos every week and if you haven't yet check out these videos up here until my next one but until then i see you i appreciate you Take care of yourself and each other and have a plentiful day. Bye!